Hey, what's up guys? Dan Carr here from shuttermuse.com. Today we're doing a Luminar tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how to add realistic looking sun rays to your images. Now we're using a new feature from Luminar 2018, the Supernova release. So if you have a previous version to that, you're going to want to upgrade to get this functionality. I'll stick a link in the description below this video so you can do that nice and easily. Uh, it's well worth it, lots of new features and it's really a much faster program as well. So uh, definitely worth the upgrade price there. Now um, I'm going to open this image from Lightroom here so I have it set up as an external editor which means I can go to edit in uh, and then we go edit in Luminar 2018. You can also have it set up as a plugin as well that's up to you. There's a video describing those two options on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, edit with a copy, uh, sorry edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments uh, that's the option there. I'm going to do that. I didn't actually make any adjustments to it. Uh, it's a raw file straight out of the camera. We're going to make our edits in Luminar. So that's going to open up Luminar for us uh, any second now. There we go. Now um, to start with, I'm just going to make a couple of really basic edits. Um, I've actually saved this as a preset already just to kind of speed up the process. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, just apply this user preset that I've already um, made previously to, to starting the recording here just to add um, a little bit of color pop to this using the AI filter uh, and some vividness with the brilliance and warmth uh, filter there. So actually I'm going to turn down that AI boost a little bit and a little bit on the vividness. That's a little, I went a little overboard. That's easy to do sometimes. Um, okay, so there we go. That looks much better. So we've got some nice greens here. Um, and what we want to do is add our sunshine. Now, this was a really bright overcast day. There wasn't any direct sunshine, but you can see this bright spot at the top of the image here. Uh, these trees are clearly backlit by that bright sky. So this is a perfect candidate for adding in some sun rays because we've got a really obvious place uh, for it to be that's going to look nice and natural. We'll have the sunlight streaming through these trees here. So what I'm going to do is come over, I'm going to add a new layer. Obviously, layers are a really awesome feature of Luminar. Uh, we have layers and layer blend modes and layer masking, just like you'd find in Photoshop. But we have a lot of the editing features of Lightroom. So if you're not that familiar with the program, it kind of combines a lot of the great pieces of those two more familiar uh, softwares. So uh, add a new adjustment layer. That's what we're going to do here. And now we have this uh, clear workspace to add any of these filters that we want to here. Now the one we're going to look at is down here, sun rays. Now um, once you get that up, we've got a ton of different options here. Uh, and it's going to throw a few options at you uh, right off the bat, just making some guesses. But the first thing we're going to do is hit the place sun center button here. Now that is actually going to reveal where the sun center is. Um, it makes a guess as to where you want it to start with, uh, but I'm going to actually move it. It said it was going to be over here. We're going to place our sun up here. So we just simply grab that and drag it up. I'm going to stick this sun kind of just behind that tree up there. Now in our options here, we have so many different uh, sliders and you know, to be honest, the first time you get it, you just kind of want to play around with all of this. Um, we can enhance the look, you know, how, uh, how vivid the sun rays are with the amount setting there. Um, we can change uh, the look of the whole image by sort of making it a little bit brighter. That sort of adds a, a kind of hazy look to things. Uh, we can even change the number of sun rays as well. So by sliding that around, uh, we can adapt that and that makes a pretty significant change as well. And you kind of have to play around to see which one suits your particular image. Um, let's just do this. Let's go number. Uh, that looks pretty good to me right there. Uh, we can change the warmth of the sun rays as well. Uh, and you can also adjust the sun separately. So you'll see there's warmth down here. This is the warmth of the actual sun, which is the white spot where the light is emanating from. And this is the warmth of the rays. So you have that uh, slightly different control there. I'm going to add a little bit of warmth, uh, not too much, just a little bit. Uh, and when we have the length of the sun rays as well, so you can keep them super short or you can get them across the whole of the image there. Uh, so let's, well, what do we got? Let's look something like this. I want them just so it feels like they're just touching the ground a little bit. Uh, and then for the sun itself, we have the radius. So that controls the width of the bright area, basically. Now we already had some bright spots in the, uh, in the trees there. So I want to kind of make it look natural. I don't actually want the width that much. So I think that looks pretty good. That kind of, uh, maybe a little bit less. And that blends in pretty nicely with the, the already bright spot, uh, 
that was up there. Okay, so glow radius here. I'll just play with this a little bit so you can see that's kind of the radius of the glow of the sun. That's just the sun, remember. We're controlling the sun rays and the sun uh, separately here. So that's the spread of the glow, and then this is basically how diffused that glow is, okay? So um, that's going to look a little better because I'm trying to hide the sun behind or make it look like the sun's hidden behind that tree, I'm going to turn down the glow amount uh, quite a lot. And then we can adjust the warmth. I think for the most part, you're going to want to keep the warmth of the sun reasonably similar to the warmth that you set the sun rays. I think that looks more realistic from what I've played with. Uh, and then we have two other extra options here, uh, penetration and randomize. Now, randomize is super fun. Um, this basically just changes the rays, so you can kind of play around with it and see if one jumps out at you um, that looks really awesome. Uh, again, it, it, it's random. It certainly seems to be random, so you just kind of have to play with that and see what works for you. Uh, that one looks pretty cool to me, so we'll stay with that. Uh, and then penetration here just kind of controls um, how much of the sun is coming through at that point where you've placed it, I think. So uh, again, you just have to play around with it and see what works for your image. There's not going to be one specific set um, that's going to work for all of your images. It's definitely going to change a little bit. Even if I was to move this out from behind the tree a little bit, then I might want to uh, adjust a few of my settings. But um, here we've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good setup. I can turn this on and off using this little eye over here, um, and we can see, you know, before and after adding some sun rays there. Now, one thing you need to remember to do is to press this place sun center button again once you're done moving things around, otherwise you won't be able to use some of the other tools. Uh, so you'll see that little spot has disappeared and we now have our sun placed behind that tree there. Um, now, let me let me just zoom in a second here. If we zoom in uh, and have a look at this just in the area where we've added the sun there, um, this gives you a bit more of an idea as to uh, how authentic this looks. We we chose a really great image for this to start with. So we had the backlit trees, which I think really is a key thing to making this look realistic. Uh, but again, if I just turn this off, uh, you can see that's the image before, and then this is turning it back on again. You can see how natural that looks. And really that just took a few minutes and a lot of that was just messing around with the sliders there showing you guys what they do. This is really easy to add this effect to your images. Now, you don't want to go too crazy and add sun rays to everything. Like I said, find an image that will work. It's got to have probably a bright spot in it already, um, especially backlit images work really well. And I think this is a super fun feature. Um, the guys at MacFun, uh, which actually is going to be called Skylum Software uh, soon, they did a really awesome job with this particular filter. And there are ways to do this in Photoshop and things like that that I've used in previous years, but uh, there's no way I'm going to use those old ways now. I'm going to be using Lumini every time. It's super fun. It's fast, easy, and we can save this and come back to it later to edit it. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a brilliantly implemented, awesome feature. I'm really stoked on this. So uh, once we're done and happy with our edit there, I'll uh, we'll just click apply. And because we opened this from Lightroom in the first place, this is going to save that edited image back into Lightroom. And um, now we can see just quickly the two versions here. So this is our after shot before, I'm um, sorry, after we've added our sun rays and done a little editing. This is the before shot. Uh, and there's the after shot again. And also I have another shot here, which I which I did before. Um, this is just, again, someone walking down a beach here. Um, we have obviously a brighter part of the sky up here. There's almost sun rays in this already, but the sun is just out of frame right here. Um, and again, they're backlit. So just a quick trip into Luminar um, to make a few basic adjustments. And you can see I just added some really, really subtle sun rays to this. So uh, that's the before shot and then that's the after shot again. Just a little bit of warmth and some very, very gentle sun rays there. So um, yeah, that's it. That's the feature. Uh, that's the best way that I know to add sun rays to your images and that is using Luminar. All right, thanks for watching guys. We'll have plenty more like this in the future. Bye-bye.